You wanted to know what vaccines are given to a newborn baby in the hospital before they go home. And um, the, the one and only vaccine that we might administer is the hepatitis B vaccine. And there's a series of vaccinations that needs to be given to your child. So typically one is given in the hospital after birth, another between one to two months of age, and then a third at six months of age. So if your baby doesn't receive the first dose of the hepatitis B vaccine series in the hospital, the pediatrician will usually recommend it at their next appointment. So outside of the hospital, this usually happens at one to two weeks after birth. Hepatitis B is a deadly disease and giving your baby um, immunity against it will protect them in case, they're, uh, in case they come into contact with someone who has it. We always test mothers for it during pregnancy and if a mother has hepatitis B, then the baby will receive additional treatment in the hospital before they go home to protect them. But they may come in contact with people that don't know they have it, so again, it's important to protect them against it. Um, your baby will receive many other vaccinations during the first two years of life, most of which are during the first year. And a lot of parents wonder why it's important to give vaccines so early in life. It's hard to imagine giving your baby a shot or poking them and hurting them in any way, but it's a very small stick and, it and all of these vaccines protect against very deadly diseases. The immunization schedule works best with the baby's growing immune system and it also helps to protect them as soon as possible from these deadly illnesses that we're vaccinating against. So talk with your pediatrician if you have any other questions about these. Be sure to keep all of your baby's well checks. These typically happen at two months, four months, six months, nine, 12, 18, and 24 months. And your baby will get shots at most of these appointments as long as you're choosing to immunize. And again, if you have questions about the risks versus the benefits, talk with your pediatrician who can give you more information. Now there is one other shot that your baby will get in the hospital, it's called a vitamin K shot. And this is usually given in the nursery um, either before or after the baby receives a bath. And this is not an immunization and it's very important to let them give this to your baby. Um, if you've ever taken a physiology class, you may have learned, uh, learned about the clotting cascade. There's many different steps that have to happen in order for our blood to clot. And vitamin K is an important piece of the puzzle. If it's missing or there's not enough of it, then the blood won't clot and some newborns aren't born with it or aren't born with enough. And so we don't know which newborn that is. We give it to everyone because if there's a deficiency in vitamin K, it can lead to brain bleeds and those can lead to long-term problems. So we want to avoid those at all costs. We just give it to all babies to make sure that everyone's as healthy as possible. If you have more questions in the future for me, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.